this lawsuit is shocking. When did this start and how did you discover this was happening? It started way back in early May, believe it or not, more than two months ago. And some people started contacting us saying they sent their Bitcoin in and why didn't I send them twice as much back? And they said that they saw it on a featured featured um, YouTube video for them to watch where they were coming from. And then we went online and discovered there were a whole bunch of these. And from then on, we probably, you know, sent down, you know, fraud notices and written out statements of what was going on, that this was a crime to YouTube dozens, maybe even hundreds of times, late, late nights, sometimes at three in the morning. It takes us time. It's, we're just normal people. And we just have to go through that their whole process and figure out what you, they don't have a category that says report a crime so a human can look at it. And I don't think a human in YouTube ever saw what was going on here. I just don't believe it. We we went to state police and they got involved and got some information, but uh, we just couldn't get to a human at uh, YouTube. Now, your suit alleges that YouTube has been completely unresponsive and you also praise Twitter for reacting the same day of that big hack that is and was related to this. What didn't YouTube do that you think they should have done? Well, for one thing, they should have, you know, you go to report something is wrong with, with a, a video of theirs. You can report it as fraud or there were about seven categories, but fraud was one and copyright violation, which also applies here. And we could report it and then we could type in a statement, what's wrong? And the statement would have gotten any human's attention that ever saw it, but algorithms, computer, artificial intelligence can't really tell what you mean. That if somebody sends you $1, you'll send two back, that that's a scam. Any, any news outlet, any person, any human in the world would say that's a crime. Ed McMahon would say that's a crime. So they just never got to a human was the problem. And we couldn't get a response from them. And I don't like to try to pull strings and go around things the way normal average people can't. So every day for the last over two months, it's been up there. The scams have been up there on, on YouTube. We did get a statement from YouTube on this. They say they take account security very seriously, uh, automatically protect users and notify them when they detect suspicious activity, have policies against impersonation and scams. Did you ever reach out to the CEO of YouTube, uh, Susan Wojcicki, yeah. or somebody yeah, else in leadership? Person. I don't. I don't go around and use my privilege because of my name. We did it as a normal person online. There are ways to fill out forms and data. And it, maybe it never got to a human. Maybe a computer that doesn't understand what a scam is saw it and just didn't do any response at all. So whatever they say, take, they take very seriously. They didn't take this seriously enough to have a little category saying there is a crime going on and please, you know, let a human see this. They don't have a category. So what, do you, what do you want YouTube to do? right now about this? YouTube, no, it's really almost everybody like YouTube. This is a very broad category of where you can't reach humans when you need them for support all over the tech industry. And um, it should be ex expressed that when it's a matter of a real crime going on, obvious crime, just like I said, any human would look at this thing and say it's a scam, um, that there has to be ways to um, not have YouTube be a party to it and other companies you know, Google, Facebook, whatever, not be a party to it, or let you reach a human who can make a decision of ways to stop it. YouTube could stop it. They could stop it with, with the software techniques and with human techniques, but we couldn't, if you can't get to anybody, how can you ever do anything? Listen to them say after the fact, you know, oh, we take this very seriously. They didn't take it seriously at all because we reported it, like I said, maybe a um, hundred or more times. You know, every day we did many, every night, I should say, we reported tons and tons that were still up. To this day, there's some up. 